Hey everyone, this is Richard for altright.com and I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and why it is going to crash. Uh, first off, forgive the setting here. I'm on the road, so I'm in a hotel. No big deal. Um, I'm gonna do a few videos here, so uh, get used to it. If it's a problem, I don't think it will be. All right, yes, Bitcoin over the past few months has gone insane. And over the past week, Bitcoin has gone more than insane. We are in lunatic, schizophrenic land with the cryptocurrency. Um, it is not at anything like a linear growth, you know, where it's breaking into the mainstream, people are, are getting used to it and putting money there. It's not that. It is, it is at vertical hockey stick growth. Uh, it, it's in Looney Town, and something like that cannot be sustained, and it won't be. And I think it is going to crash, and I think it's going to crash very, very hard. I'm talking 50% retracement, 75, 90% retracement. I would not be surprised if in a reasonable amount of time, let's say the next year, maybe even the next quarter, uh, we're going to be looking at $250 or $500 Bitcoin. Uh, so, yeah, as Bitcoin as an investment... Uh, I am really down on and I it kind of scares me to be honest now am I anti Bitcoin you know do, do I think this is just a, a, a joke uh, the latest fad no I don't I am pro Bitcoin and I think Bitcoin could be terribly important uh, I actually in, in March I half jokingly half serious declared Bitcoin the official currency of the alt-right now I, that it was, I was half joking in the sense that there's, there's no official anything of the alt-right um, and, and neither is, you know, the alt-right, the official politics of Bitcoin. Both of these things are, you know, organic movements, not, not corporations or governments or anything like that. Uh, that's what's great about the alt-right and that is what's great about Bitcoin. Uh, so I am pro-Bitcoin and I think Bitcoin might be terribly important for us. It's one thing to get thrown off Twitter. It's another thing to get thrown out of the banking system, which could happen. Um, it could happen to any marginal political movement or heretical political movement. Uh, it certainly could happen to the alt-right. And if that does happen, and I certainly don't want it to, and I, I'm not predicting that in the foreseeable future at least. Um, if, if, but if that does happen, Bitcoin could be not just you know important, but indispensable. Um, for the alt-right and similar groups going forward. So I am pro-Bitcoin, long live Bitcoin. I think it's a great thing. The problem is, is that right now people are not treating Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency, that is as a medium of exchange. They are treating it as an investment and they are treating it as a way to get rich. And they might not talk about it like that, but that's how they're treating it. And Bitcoin is not a good investment, in my opinion. It's not a, an investment at all. That's the wrong way to think about it. Yet that's exactly how people are thinking about it. Um, one could say that people really want to buy Bitcoin right now. Oh, everyone wants to buy it. Everyone, everyone knows about it. I, I was actually, um, I'm, I'm here again on a, on a secret mission. And um, I was walking through a park and I had this guy who was kind of kind of douchebaggy, to be honest. He was loudly talking on his cell phone so that everyone could, you know, overhear him, you know, sounding like a master of the universe. And he's like, we're going to have Bitcoin at a million dollars uh, within the next decade. Every single person should own Bitcoin. All This is the same kind of talk that I heard during the housing bubble where everyone needs to buy a house, multiple houses. In fact, it's the same kind of talk that I heard in the tech bubble. And, you know, as I'm nearing my 40th birthday, um, I should at least try to learn from experience that when you hear this kind of euphoric insanity, that is the sign that we are about to see a major turnaround. It's a sign that you've seen the top of the market. And so this is something that you have to understand about, you know, craziness like this is that we think that everyone wants to buy Bitcoin. Oh, everyone wants to get Bitcoin. Your mom is talking about how, how do I buy Bitcoin? How do I get it? They don't ultimately want to buy Bitcoin. They ultimately want to sell Bitcoin. And what I mean by that is that people, no matter how they explain it to you, 
they're, they're really buying Bitcoin in order to sell it. They're really buying it in order to flip the investment and turn it into cash. They don't ultimately want Bitcoin. Uh, it's very similar to tech stocks uh, in, the two, in the late 90s and you know, very early 2000s, like i.e. the year 2000. People didn't really believe in pets.com or all of this kind of stuff. They didn't want to own these companies that were making massive you know, negative profits year over year. They, they wanted to own the stock so they could flip it. It's a very similar thing to mortgages and McMansions in the next you know, five to seven years of the 2000s where all, you know, all that stupid money in a way that, that was in tech stocks flew into you know, collateralized debt obligations and bundled mortgage packages and all this kind of stuff. People ultimately don't believe in those things. They want to flip them. They ultimately want to turn them into cash. So basically, you don't have a lot of buyers of Bitcoin right now. You have a lot of sellers of Bitcoin. They cannot wait to flip Bitcoin. And when you have a situation like that, there is a tremendous amount of downward pressure. And you might not see it because everyone's so excited about, oh, I want to buy Bitcoin, I want to buy Bitcoin. But ultimately, that's a massive just Damocletian sword hanging over the Bitcoin market that's going to crash it. It's going to crash it down. None of these people believe in Bitcoin. They just, they just see Bitcoin going crazy and they think, I can't wait to sell Bitcoin so that I can turn it into cash, I can buy a house, I can buy, you know, I can spend it on clothes or whatever, I can buy stocks or whatever they want to do. They ultimately don't want to buy Bitcoin. Uh, so again, Bitcoin for the alt-right and for any heretical movement is an amazing thing as a medium of exchange. That is, it is anonymous, it is seamless, um, it is um, uh, uh, obviously electronic, digital. Um, it is amazing, and that's global. Um, it is amazing in that sense, not owned by any government, which conceivably confiscated and so on. It is amazing, and long live Bitcoin in that sense. Uh, but Bitcoin right now, all this excitement about Bitcoin is a bunch of people who just can't wait to sell their Bitcoin. So I would suggest don't fall for it. All right, putting myself out there, calling the crash of Bitcoin, but I think I should do it now. All right, everyone, uh, I'll be doing some more videos like this, so stay tuned.